We are live from Raven Street Dance Studio via Fort Taunton, North Dakota, Spirit Lake. We're at Richard Street's residence. And I am here with the famous, what's your name? Yosti. And he is a professional archer. And he is also a distinguished roach maker. And he is going to explain today um, <laughs> the, the dynamics of um, what one row means, what two row means when you're ordering a roach and the work that that entails and the reason why um, the fee is the what, what it is when you get a roach. Okay, so take it away. Okay, so what, what brought this topic up was people not, not an understanding of why we charge so much for these blonde roaches. If we look here, you have a bundle of hair, right? This is how we get our bundles. So you'll, have, you'll see that nothing is sorted. You have real short hair all the way to really long hair. And this will take this will take a week to sort out to make one roach. a week of how um many hours uh, mm, 10 hours a day of sorting and you'll get so you'll have 50 hours into just sorting hair and that's enough for one roach that's just one roach but how many rows is that in that row? that'll be a two row roach for a three row roach a triple row roach you're looking at uh you're looking at probably six or seven days of sorting so if you look at that, you see that there's really short hair compared to all the long hair. And we'll, we'll taper that down. We'll keep sorting and sorting until it's perfect. So how now, much is that? Is that an ounce of hair? That's not. No, uh, that's about three quarters of an ounce. Yeah. Okay. So how much does an ounce of hair, just the hair cost when you. Okay. Let's put it this way. Let's just to put it into perspective. That right there, that right there, that's pretty good, long, nice hair. That's not even enough for one roach. That right there is not even enough for one roach. Maybe all of this right here, maybe all of that is enough for one roach. And so how many ounces is that? Like, Oh, well, you'll go through a couple pounds to make one roach. You'll go through a couple pounds of hair. So how much does one pound cost? Oh, they, could, they could be anywhere from, they could be anywhere from. No, you ain't call that yeah that's 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 our secret okay <laughs> but it's expensive though it because you expensive. have to buy you're, you're, multiple you're, you're in, pounds of hair to you've get got two, you've got two thousand dollars in hair on oh a big roach at least and that's before even the work is done that's before the work ever starts you're, okay you got a couple thousand dollars started so we were talking about this blonde hair so if you look at these bundles right here it takes probably going through five six seven bundles like this to make one little pinch of blonde hair like that oh my god so when people ask why it's so expensive for a blonde roach it's because it's a rarity it's a rare hair that so you know when it it takes us time to it takes us time to save all this hair and that's really nice long hair that hair is in upwards of 11 and a half inches right there so you imagine we're saving this for about three years to make one blonde roach. And then, you know, people, oh, give me a bro deal. Give me this, give me that. You know, you gotta, you gotta remember, this took a long time to save this here. Absolutely. So, so what is this right here? This is the beer tail. Okay, and that goes on the road. inside this is, this and is, the, the outside. outside. It'll guard that porcupine hair from being rubbed on too much. So it kind of helps that. Gives it color and it also, you know, protects that porcupine hair and its brittle in its brittle parts of its hair. And so you look out. how per perfect that is. That's this really is it, it's not just the time that you could learn. You could take do a tutorial. You could take a class or watch a video, but the time and years it takes to get this good. Right. Good luck. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so what are you doing here? Your I, time. I just finished a deer tail for an inside for an inside row. So this is a, a finished roach. This is a finished roach. This isn't our work, though. This right. is a friend of ours' work. Okay. So you can't judge us. Right, I know, but just basically, <laughs> it's your outside guard, your deer hair, then followed by as many as what's the most rows you've ever made? I, I, I usually don't have to put more than three rows on. I have done one four row roach, and that's for Lonnie, and <laughs> that's the only person I'll do it for. I wouldn't even do it for myself because it's just too hard to work. It's too much time. So that's six rows in total once you put the. Oh yeah. And it's not just that. We're going to post a video also of them braiding the bases. Man, it was ama amazing watching. Um, I thought I was a good hair braider. Not even. I should be asking you guys to braid my hair at the Powell. <laughs> but sorting, it takes time. Not going to show the secrets, but you saw just a little bit of how much work it is. Thank you from the Raven Street Dance Studio and your blurry. 
And what are your new ventures as far as archery? Uh, we have a couple archery shoots this year that are national level archery shoots. And it's, if you're good, if you're good enough, you make it into the placings of the top three, you can make anywhere from seven, eight thousand to thirty five. Are you good 000. enough? The question is, is he good enough? That's good. <laughs> Been there a few times, done it, won the world. That's also so. right on. Well, this is live from Raven Street Dance Studio. Skew.